Hi and welcome to another After Effects tutorial brought to you by Velocity VFX. Today we'll be looking at how to camera track. Uh, so let's get started. I've already imported my video, uh, I think, or I haven't. Just simply drop it into your composition. My composition size is 1280 by 720. And what you want to do after that is just find. Let me just trim the length. Let's say five seconds. And that's the length I will be going with. So let's also cut the length, split the length of the video, and just delete all the excess. And let's go to start now w the first thing w you want to do is right click on you go to the start right click on your video and go to track camera this will pop up go to advanced and go to detailed analysis and click that in I just wait for the track uh, camera tracking to finish and the reason I went to advanced and clicked in detailed analysis is because uh, this will show you how well the, the camera tracking went so let's just wait for this to finish up since I'm on pretty slow computer it might take a few seconds and so what we are doing is we are going to add a 3D object into this video and another thing is if you want to uh, track a video uh, moving footage and make sure it's it's a stable one and it's not wobbly because it will be really difficult to track it so we are almost there and now um, what's good is to have average error below 0 0.60 because that means the filming wasn't too wobbly it was stable and it will be easy to work with so it's solving the camera so we have 0 0.018 that's pretty good and it will be easy to work with this footage so now we have done we've finished our camera trackings what you want to do now is let me widen this you want to find a point, right click it, and go to set ground, plane, and origin, like so. And the second thing you want to do is, again, just find a good place where you want to add something. Let's say here, create solid and camera. Now we have a digital camera or a camera with all the track data and we have a solid and let me just shut off that solid and go back to our footage and to bring up the dots the track point you just simply click on 3d camera and i want to add another solid this solid is the one we are going to use to uh, add the object into it so there we go I created another solid let me also turn this one off now I already prepared in my element 3d this is where we are going to add that object you can you don't have to add a 3d element you can add a 2d element a picture whatever but I'm just choosing today to add a 3d element so I already prepared a 3d text and we can't see it now because what we need to do now is open up our element 3d and actually I can I, I will just I will just do it from the beginning be much better to follow so let's delete this solid as well and layer new solid it will be better to just do it from the beginning video call palette element 3d and what I did was I simply created a normal layer no, normal text solid added text to it 
like this a normal flat 2d text now in your element 3d open group 1 and go to actually no don't even open group 1 go yeah actually open group 1 go to plane and having done that you want to go to yep yeah, uh, go to scene setup and go to extrude this will extrude your text and nothing happened now because we need to do one more thing go to custom layers and go to custom text ma uh, text and mask and so our text layer is called velocity vfx is this one so in custom text and mask you find that one velocity vfx and you do this you uh, that's the one you choose go back to your scene setup and now you see our extrusion is there you could simply go and just add a material just gonna add a metal material nothing too fancy just drop it in there we go and now we can just shut off the flat 2d and we still don't see our text because there's one more thing we need to do in your group one scroll all the way down to group utilities just above group two open up create group new create it now this will um, be where we are going to control our 3d text the size and rotation etc so let's say we want to put it here uh, in the on this pink uh, solid with the track data we created what you want to do is click on p and then click on p on the group node copy the position like so edit copy and go to group node edit paste now if we just turn off the one we don't need to see this you can see our point is here now our 3d text so what you need to do is rotate it scale it up okay there it is so now we just need to f put it f where it is where we need to uh, where, where, where we need it to go and you can just use uh, you drag it out on the X axis and maybe move it in on the C and I see we need to rotate it again there we go and maybe drag it in and let's get it up and let's now see how well it tracked And then if you want to make if you want to make it look even better you can add some light in and then maybe some shadows on the ground and we can do a quick quick shadows let's see go to your element 3d and go to render settings in group one that's where we have our 3d text actually uh, no man render settings all the way at the bottom you can add we already have uh, shadows enabled but we need this one also to enable and let's go into our scene setup and what you need to do in order to get shadows create a plane bring it all the way down here and just add some darker material to it and scale it up like so what you want to do now is go all the way down to 
actually open up click on the material and then go to mate shadow which is in here and mate shadows like so and in order to get um, the shadows you need a spotlight so let's find our find it Just bring it above the text. As you can see, we are getting starting to get text. I mean shadows now. So just maybe not so dark. You can just play around. And let's have a look. Now you have a 3D, but I wanna do one more thing. Add some lighting from the render settings within Element 3D. Render settings and go to light render setting lighting and maybe let's see basic and maybe additional lighting. Let's see. And if you want to just add some extra stuff, you just could add ambient occlusion. Let's have a look now. Warehouse are maybe a little bit more shadow. like so and let's see there you go 3d text with shadows and everything and it doesn't look pretty but we weren't going for something fancy which is demonstrating how to get the 3d text so there you go any, if there is any question, if you have some uh, questions, please um, leave comments. If you liked this tutorial, thumbs up, subscribe, and thank you for watching. Bye.